For only the second time in 18 years, the District School Board of Niagara will be sending four students to the Skills Canada National Competition. One student will represent Port Colborne High School. The other three students will come from Fort Erie Secondary School, including Katrina Waters, who won silver at Nationals last year in baking. In Moncton, it is a two-day competition. Uh, we have the morning and the afternoon of two separate days. We have three and a half hours each day. And we have to make bread, which is a challah bread, a four-strand braid and a five-strand braid, as well as six dinner rolls. And then the next day, we have to make piped cookies, shortbread, uh, pâte de fruit tarts, and a fully decorated from scratch sponge cake. That has to be one of these stories from 1001 Nights. Katrina spends lots of nights perfecting her baking skills at FES. A goal this year would be the icing on the cake for her hard work and dedication. It's a lot of training. This year they have a lot more calculations on the scientific side. Your bread recipe has to be 15% butter. So that's something we've never seen before. This is a lot more difficult than it was before. It's a lot more towards post-secondary work. Uh, it's a lot of practicing. You have to have all of your timing down instead of to the minute like it is at provincials. It has to be down to the second at nationals. There's not a lot of time to mess around. We are going Dalton to Bird, a grade 12 student at Fort Erie Secondary School, qualified for the national competition by winning gold so in job skills demonstration. You demonstrate a job well. skill that you're skilled in. So that can range from anything from carpet train to engineering to auto mechanics to hospitality and tourism to uh, many different things. As long as you're demonstrating a skill that you can be proud of and show that this is something that I believe is gold worthy. Dalton has worked at the Pomegranate Restaurant at FES for three and a half years. Although he's put in hundreds of hours getting workplace experience, he credits one individual for his success. There's one man in particular who does it all from helping us write out our safety plans to our speeches to our demonstrations and that it would have to be uh, Ashton Cavani uh, who is the culinary teacher here at Fort Erie Secondary. We truthfully thank him so much from the bottom of our heart. Not only do I, but I know that Fort Erie Secondary does too. Jason Haywood, a grade 11 student at FES, is excited to compete at Skills Canada after winning gold at Provincials in the photography competition. Um, I think it was great winning gold. It was um, a real rush. It was an honour to win gold, especially for all the people that got me there. Um, it, it was just a big um, reward for the effort for what you put into it. I'm working on getting my shots right and being mentored by different people who I'm especially grateful for. I mean, Mr. Stone, Mr. Cavani, all the different mentors who have helped me out, different professional photographers, different opinions. It all really, it's, it's an honor to work with them and to help, to let them help me um, do the best that I can do. Representing Port Colborne High School at Skills Canada is Justin Nesbitt. Justin brought home gold at the Provincials in Welding. Uh, undescribable, it was unbelievable. Like, it's a Provincials, like I didn't expect to win, like I'd like to win. I trained for it and I know in that moment, it was, I don't know, I didn't know. I, I, sorry, I don't know how to describe it. It's unbelievable. Justin, too, is spending extra hours at the school in preparation for his toughest competition yet. Stay as much as possible now. Uh, whenever I can go in, I go in. If he's free, I'm free. We both go in. We train till whenever. Yeah. How does it feel to be representing Fort Erie Secondary School at the Nationals? It's a little stressful, but it's very exciting knowing that you can come from a small town. There's so many good people here, and it's we usually get looked over and it's very exciting to be getting to represent our school and showing that we may be from a small town but we can do big things. Best of luck to all four DSBN students at the Skills Canada National Competition. The event takes place June 5th to 8th in Moncton, New Brunswick. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mark Wickabredo.